How's it going guys? What is up? Moses here and today we're going to talk about the cold sorceress and how to start the ladder and what's the most efficient way to uh, uh, start off the ladder. Um, so twice a year, ladder resets and you want to be in the f as efficient and as fast as possible to start accumulating these runes and start uh, heading towards your infinity mercenary weapon so you can transform into a lightning sorceress. Uh, the best way to do it is to start off as a cold blizzard sorceress and in this video we're going to talk about the things that you'll need to know. Uh, we'll start off with the build, it's very simple. Uh, uh, three spells are needed from the fire and lightning uh, trees. You'll need one point on warmth, this goes for every sorceress. Uh, you'll need one point on Static Field, which is an extremely powerful spell that will allow you to drop the HP of monsters, of big groups of monsters, as well as bosses, uh, to 50%. And then you can finish them off with whatever else that you have in your arsenal for Sorcerer's Cold. It's, you know, of course, Blizzard uh, for Lightning, Chain Lightning, or, or uh, just the Lightning spell. Uh, so yeah, and of course you'll need uh, teleport at level 18, which makes the sorceress the fastest farmer, the most efficient farmer in the game. So you'll need one point on telekinesis and one point on teleport. Static field, teleport, warmth. The rest of your skills you're going to be spending on. Um, uh, your main spell will be ice blast on your left click, and your secondary more massive AOE uh, spell will be your blizzard. This is a Blizzard Sork, so you're going to put all your points on Blizzard and on Ice Blast, as well as one point on Shiver Armor. So you'll need to go through Frozen and then Shiver Armor. This will be your active armor spell buff uh, that you constantly have on. Um, and the uh, rest of the time you'll be blasting away with Ice Blast and uh, destroying big groups of monsters with Blizzard. Extremely satisfying spell. I personally think it's like one of my favorite spells in every video game I pretty much believe that I've ever played. So yeah, uh, Blizzard, Ice Blast. The rest you'll put into uh, Blizzard Synergies, uh, which means Ice Bolt and Glacial Spike that are aligned right here on this uh, yeah, cold tree line. Um, I don't spec into Frozen Orb, I never liked this spell, and uh, in my opinion it's only good for hybrid builds, and I'm not a big huge supporter of hybrid builds, uh, we talked about it a lot on stream, but basically I'm going to mention why here, since uh, in my opinion, when you uh, use a hybrid build, you nerf your own damage, as you can see Frozen Orb only has one synergy spell, a lot of people uh, running Meteor and uh, um, Frozen Orb, also known as the Midi Orb build, and uh, it's okay, there's some fire, there's some cold, but in the end you nerf your damage a lot, and there's not a lot of synergies, and um, for farming, in my opinion, sure you'll be able to farm more zones in the game, since you have cold and fire, but you'll be nerfing your own damage, which means that the monsters you do kill uh, will die slower than they would if you just specced into one uh, into one tree. So in my opinion, uh, since the beginning of the game, I find that the most efficient way is to run cold, and that's you know the most damage you can deliver. I would go no frozen orb, just blizzard. Yeah. So as well, you'd want to uh, max out cold mastery. Um, or not max it out, just have enough to drop monsters resistance by 100% to cold. That when it comes to the build, now where can you farm, uh, what should be your magic found magic find route? Uh, there are a few places that you can get into and for this we're gonna log in Battle.net. So I'll show you the waypoints. The two most important um, places, okay, weird, there's already a game named Moses, what, <laughs> okay, uh, the two most important places, the two places will get you ahead as, fa as fast as, as possible, uh, will be the Black Marsh uh, Lost Tower, uh, Forgotten Tower, um, 
at the bottom of the tower, of course, there is the Countess. Countess drops you runes, and Countess drops you a key of terror that you'll then trade for pull runes, for mal runes, for whatever runes, uh, to get ahead closer and closer into that infinity, into that um, <clears throat> bear, double bear runes is small. It's insane, but if you put it to, you know, this will be your target, this will be your goal, you can do it. Uh, so you go Black Marsh, Countess, and then you go Catacombs, level 2. You clear all the levels, level 2, 3, and 4. And then at the end, you kill Andario. <clears throat> this will be in Act 1. In Act 2, you can go to the Lost City, and you'll be searching for a trap door. That trap door will lead you into the Lost Tunnels. And Lost Tunnels is an excellent place. It's I level 85 uh, area, and um, which means the highest level area in the game. Everything can drop there. Uh, personally, I never got lucky there, but I mention it in this video because I know a lot of people like to farm it. That as well as the pit. The pit is not a good area because everything will be immune to you as cold. But uh, Lost City, there are a bunch of lightning immunities over there. And uh, you can just destroy them with cold super quick. Of course, the downside is that you have to look for the trap door. And shouldn't be too much of a problem because you're a sorceress and you teleport. But still, it takes some time. Uh, but really, that's not the reason why I personally don't go there. I just really never got lucky there. Uh, in my history of farming, so I just, I just, I don't go there. Um, yeah, but it's very important to mention as well. The second place that you want to go is to clear out the Arcane Sanctuary. Arcane Sanctuary is an excellent place, and not too many people actually farm it. Sure, you have the key holder, uh, Mr. Summoner, you kill him, and he has a chance. All the key bosses have a chance of dropping you. Um, one out of 13 is the chance uh, to drop a key. Um, of course, the last boss, the destruction key holder, Nilthak in the Halls of Vought, or something, um, will drop you the key of destruction, but as a cold sorceress, you do not want to go there. The only way that you can go there is as a lightning sork, and we'll talk about that later in a different video. Uh, but yeah, places to farm will be in Act 2. You go to Lost City, Trapdoor, Ancient Tunnels. And then Arcane Sanctuary, you should really clear this area. You just avoid the ghoul lords. There are these ghoul lords. They're the only ones that are immune to cold. But you got all these wraiths and you got all these um, goatmen over here. And these guys are not immune to cold. So yeah, these will be immune to cold. But uh, this is normal, so nothing is immune to nothing over here. But these specters and these hell clans are um, not immune to cold, and you can kill them, and they drop really good loot. I was particular. I found many, many things here <clears throat> in hell, of course, um, uh, throughout the time I've been playing this game. So very, very important. As well as a cold sork, you will be killing Durance level two, and you go all the way down. You don't kill monsters in the Durance because you got dolls over there. They explode. They kill you. But uh, you can go ahead and kill Mephisto as a cold sorceress. Um, in Act Four, if your mercenary can handle, uh, you know, is sustainable, if your mercenary can survive well, then in Act Four you kill uh, you kill Diablo. You do a Diablo run in uh, in Act Four. Um, of course, maybe it's not going to be the first day of the ladder, but a couple days into the ladder, uh, you are going to be able to make. Um, you're going to be able to make. You just ignore the cold immunities, but the rest of the monsters. I mean, other than the mages, the n mage knights over there, uh, everything in the Diablo run, basically River Flame and Chaos Sanctuary, they're not immune to cold. So that's another excellent way to start dropping stuff. Um, just doing Diablo runs as well. So let's go through uh, what we were talking about. Black Marsh Countess, Catacombs all the way down. You clear all the levels. In the Black Marsh, you also clear all the levels. Nothing is immune to you. Um, and then um, Far Oasis optional. Uh, sorry, Lost City and Trapdoor Ancient Tunnels optional. Personally, I don't like it much. Arcane Sanctuary, clear it all. And of course, kill the key uh, boss. Act 3, you can kill Mephisto, 
Act 3, Act 4, as a cold sword, you kill Diablo and the Chaos uh, Sanctuary place. That will be it. That will be your uh, sorceress. Uh, cold, when it comes to itemization, basically you just farm with everything that you can get. Um, you just you improve along the way. You can start going for that Talrashas for extra magic find. You can start making uh, cheap and useful rune words such as lore. Uh, lore is a useful helm, gives you uh, bonus to all skills. But of course, those things. The most important is to survive. And uh, in order to survive, I find that um, a couple of rune words uh, that would be useful are. Uh, um, well, smoke. Smoke is an excellent rune for both uh, rune word for both you and for your mercenary. Um, it gives you 50 to all resist and bonus to defense. Of course, the all resist is what matters here. Um, spirit. Spirit rune word is an excellent uh, rune word. At the beginning, it's going to be a little bit of a problem to find a shield or a monarch shield, since that's the only shield that you can pretty much make. Uh, spirit on it requires 156 strength of course you can use an Aegis but an Aegis is like 200 and something strength but yeah so you want a shield that is a monarch to be able to get all these sweet stats all the resistances vitality faster casting mana all that stuff it's an excellent rune word and you'd want to use that as fast as you possibly can so in order to do that you'll need a shield another option is uh, a spirit sword so you can get all that faster casting plus two to all skills and the beautiful rest of the stats no resist though but all the rest of the stats you can use on a, both a sword and a shield those are at the beginning of ladder things that you should go for as fast as you can uh, as well smoke um, and uh, the rest of the gear is really optional it really depends on what you find but things to go for and things to be aware of keeping your you know, back of your head are two socketed chests for smoke, um, and in order to to make you know your life easier, you'll need a strong mercenary. And the rest of the stuff that uh, you see over here are um, you know things for your mercenary. Um, as soon as you find um, an ethereal chest, uh, it doesn't matter which, but you know it, it needs to have decent defense. You know, 600 to 700 defense ethereal chest, or 600 or higher. Uh, you'd want to make a mercenary rune word for his chest, right? A chest piece. So a good rune word for that is to begin with. Um, you're going to use this uh, this recipe right here, socketing with the cube or ethereal bug. Uh, the ethereal bug gives additional 50%. Uh, regardless of the base ethereal uh, defense bonus that you get from um, the fact that the weapon is the, the 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 armor is ethereal, so ethereal armors gets bonus 50%, and the bug when you socket it with the cube gives you additional 50%. Of course, the downside is that uh, with the cube when you use this recipe. Tal Thal Perfect Topaz Normal Body Armor in the Cube Transmute gives you socketed uh, body armor with random number of sockets. So you don't have any control. It's just a random number between one to the maximum possible number of sockets of this specific armor. Usually it's four um, because that will be the, the, the armors that you're going to be aiming for um, and four is the maximum number of sockets on chest pieces anyways but uh, in order to make smoke you'll need two socket ethereal bugged and in order to make treachery which is an excellent rune word for your mercenary um, you'll need a three socket ethereal bugged so which means if you got one this is completely useless if you got four sockets it's excellent because at the beginning of ladder you will be able to sell this four socket ethereal bug the chest for like two or even maybe three ists or maybe even a vex rune um which then you can trade to make heart of the oak heart of the oak is an excellent weapon um that you can you know it's a perfect caster weapon as a matter of fact excuse me and you can get it super early if you manage to you know get lucky and drop yourself a nice chest that you can sell you can even sell it for a vex room you can trade so those are the kind of things that you have to keep in mind 
um, to keep your mercenaries survivable, it will uh, be very helpful if you have a strong mercenary as a cold sorceress because again you don't still have infinity it's the beginning of ladder and you're struggling you know struggle is going to be a part of it but you can go through it the cold phase the blizzard phase and uh it's an excellent fun phase right you start gathering stuff and then you build into lightning and yeah so another thing to keep in mind for your um um for your mercenary are three popular helms. There are a lot of other options, but I, the reason I chose to use these is because they're pretty common uh, and you can find them, um, maybe not all of them, but like, anyways, they have life leech and you should be aware of them. Um, life leech is uh, um, what keeps your mercenary sustained. Um, it gives him, you know, life steal, <laughs> and uh, well, he can keep himself alive during all the chaos that's going on and you need him to stay alive so of course you'll feed him potion with shift potion and uh, to keep him alive but he needs to have some sort of sustain otherwise he'll just die uh, so Tarasha's Helm, Vampire's Gaze and Andario are all excellent uh, excellent uh, helms to consider this being the best in slot helm as well if you find an ethereal vamp or an ethereal andy uh, those could be like Ethereal Andy is like priceless basically even now like a month and a half after the ladder started Ethereal Andy goes for well it depends on the stats but I just sold one last week for about a high run just for a jar run you know an Ethereal Andy at the beginning it could be worth even more since those are so so scarce um, yeah uh, you can also uh, you can consider uh, using uh, stone rune word uh, shale, Om, Pull, Lum, but those are quite expensive runes at the beginning, Omen Pull runes, and uh, as this is a, I mean, it gives quite a decent bonus defense, faster hit recovery, strength of it, or as, sure, it's a nice rune word, but I don't recommend using it. I recommend selling the four sockets. If you if you manage to craft one with four sockets, I recommend just selling it super quickly so you can get ahead and get a couple of Istruns, maybe a Vex for Hoto, um, Heart of the Oak, and uh, you know, so you won't have to spend Omen Pool. You really have to be kind of, you know, you gotta manage your resources carefully at the beginning of ladder, because um, well. Uh, resources are scarce at the beginning you need all your runes and your main focus at the beginning should be to get your uh, infinity of course like side goals uh, are heart of the oak excellent rune word um, as well as call to arms call to arms will significantly increase your survivability and uh, it, it should be acquired before you get before you before you get uh, before you get infinity. It should be acquired in the cold period, in the cold sorcerer spirit of uh, of your build. So we went through the build, where to farm, potential mercenary gear, and uh, I believe we covered pretty much everything. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will make an additional uh, lightning sorceress past the cold uh, period what is up with lightning and uh, how to gear up and I'm gonna go through my gear in its separate video but I hope you guys enjoyed this one thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on stream bye bye take care